I'll have the Big Mac, please. Great joy. There are a lot of reasons why McDonald's is still so beloved after all these years, and we think it might have something to do with its original star. So here are 10 reasons why McDonald's burgers are so delicious. The burgers are flash frozen. Still frozen. There's nothing worse than trying to enjoy a burger, and all you can focus on is that old stuck-in-the-freezer-for-too-long taste. While you shouldn't expect anything too fancy at a fast food restaurant, there are still certain standards to uphold. This is a fancy restaurant! This is a fancy restaurant! And let's just say that McDonald's is able to maintain every single one of them. The main reason why McD's burgers seem so different from the rest is because how they're preserved. Indeed, the burgers are flash frozen almost immediately after the ground beef blend has been formed into patties at the processing plant. But what is flash freezing exactly? It's a process that was invented by the founder of Bird's Eye Frozen Foods, Clarence Bird's Eye, in 1924, which changed the way we eat forever. It allows chilling foods to temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit in just a matter of minutes, which helps to ensure the quality of the beef once it hits the grill at your local McD's. A slower freezing process will usually cause large ice crystals to form in the beef, which is what will give it that undesired, unpleasant, frozen taste. Apparently, it only takes approximately two to three weeks for a formed burger in the processing plant to be served to a customer, comparable to months at other chains. Seasoned on the grill. Yes, and you call them steamed hams, despite the fact they are obviously grilled. No matter how many fast food burgers you eat from different fast food joints, you'll never be able to find one as iconic as the one from McDonald's. No other seems to ever compare to the chain's signature taste. Yes, the meat the company uses for its patties and how they're preserved play a huge role in how the final product turns out, but there is so much more that contributes to the success of the burgers. Burger time! McDonald's doesn't like to season its beef a lot, which to some people might mean bland or flavorless, but to the chain, it means means simplicity and candor. The fact that it only uses beef, salt, and pepper and nothing else is actually something McD's likes to brag about. But the patties don't show up to the restaurant already seasoned. Instead, seasonings are added only when the patty is on the grill. According to the chain, this technique is meant to bring out all of the great beef taste and ensure the meal won't be dull and tasteless. Even though the original burger is a staple at every Golden Arches, the recipe can be tweaked just a tiny bit depending on where you live. The amount of salt and pepper can be adjusted based on the country, as some countries like more salt than others. Unsurprisingly enough, in America, we like things on the salty side, so you can be sure that your burger will always be seasoned to perfection. It's all beef, baby. Prime. Beef. Contrary to popular belief, the beef at McDonald's is actual beef. Yes, obvious, but you'd be surprised to learn how many people still believe that the chain uses that disgusting pink slime in their burgers. Ever since 2011, McDonald's has confirmed that all the beef patties are made from 100% USDA-inspected beef with no fillers, no additives, and no preservatives. Sure, it might not be 100% grass-fed beef like you'd find at a fine steakhouse, but hey, it's still a pretty big step in the right direction. Mmm, burger. Prior to the early 2000s, the meat-based filler we all know and despise as pink slime was part of McDonald's burgers, as it was at many other fast food chains. But it was quickly removed to make room for a new era, the era of a real beef burger from A to Z. Technically, pink slime was beef as well, as it was made from finely textured beef trimmings, although mixed with ammonia, but nothing beats the natural taste and health benefits of real beef. The chain jumped through many hoops in order to prove to their customers that their burgers were, in fact, authentic, and even went as far as hiring former Mythbuster Grant Imahara to debunk the myth once and for all. After paying a visit to the Cargill processing plant in Fresno, California, he did confirm the beef was as real as McDonald's claims it to be. They've got buns. Sounds like fun on the bun. Deleted. 
You can't have a great burger if you don't start off with a great bun. And at McDonald's, they figured this one out pretty quickly. Not only are the buns of impressive quality, but they're also different for every burger. A lot of fast food restaurants will try to cut costs by serving different types of burgers and using the same bun over and over, but not the Golden Arches. The Big Mac, for instance, will get the sesame seed treatment, while the regular hamburger, cheeseburger, and double cheeseburgers will bear the regular toasted bun, and the filet of fish has its plain steamed bun. That right there would already be enough to put McDonald's ahead in the burger game. How could anyone compete with such delicious offerings? But the chain took things even further by adding yet another bun option, the third piece of bread. Let us explain. Usually, when you order a burger that contains more than one beef patty at other chains, like Wendy's Double and Triple Deckers or Sonic's Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger, you end up with a lot of beef and still only two pieces of bread. Kind of like a beef overload. But I'm not eating bread now, I'm off bread. However, when you order the Big Mac or any other deluxe-style burgers from McDonald's, you get a third bun sandwiched between the patties, which gives it the balance it needs. So many varieties. So many choices. Branching from the idea that McDonald's burgers are so delicious because they're unique and offer a lot of choices when it comes to the bun, the endless burger toppings are also an important part of their success. Now, we say endless, but any avid McDonald's lover knows that's not 100% true. Most burgers will have the same toppings, like ketchup, mustard, onions, cheese, and the beloved pickles. But it's all about the subtle variation between each burger that makes the whole difference. In fact, in fact, the variations in toppings are so important that cooks even have a cheat sheet to reference to minimize the chance that a customer would end up with a burger that's missing one of their favorite components. People often argue about which burger is the best and which one has the best topping combination, but the truth is, no matter if you get a Big Mac or a Quarter Pounder with cheese, they all carry the same deliciousness. Mm, <laughs> While the vegetables are a big part of the burgers, so are the sauces. And at McDonald's, they don't do things halfway. Aside from the regular ketchup and mustard, there's also an array of sauces you can add to your sandwich to make it even more unique. But the best of the best has got to be the one and only Big Mac sauce, described by the chain as a creamy, delicious balance of sour, zesty mustard flavor, pickle relish, onion powder, and savory tastes. Yummy by any other name. They're so cheap. They're cheap. We can't deny it any longer. One of the main reasons why McDonald's burgers are so delicious is because they are ridiculously cheap. I mean, who doesn't like to enjoy tasty burgers for such a low price? Their low price tag simply makes them even more enticing and irresistible. But how exactly is it that these tasty burgers can be sold for so little and still be profitable for the chain? Well, it's all about the ingredients that go into making them. As you may already know, buying in bulk can save you quite a pretty penny, especially for a big family. Now imagine that big family only times a thousand and you'll understand why McDonald's decided to adopt the bulk practice pretty early on. As the world's largest buyer of beef, pork, potatoes, lettuce, and tomatoes, and the second largest purchaser of chicken behind only KFC, McDonald's had no choice but to make deals with businesses in order to cut costs. Basically, it buys all the ingredients it needs at wholesale prices, meaning the chain can pass on some of those savings to its customers. This is basically free. Quality testing is real. Testing, 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 testing. It's no secret that McDonald's likes to control a lot of things when it comes to the production of their burgers. However, its tendency to micromanage the production doesn't only apply to how the burgers are made, but also how they taste. The fast food giant is so obsessed with making burgers that have the same consistent great taste everywhere that they actually build replica test kitchens at the processing plants. 
It's a test. Meant to further monitor the quality control, these kitchens are used before any batch of burgers can be sent off to the restaurant. Someone is assigned the task of cooking up some of the beef patties in order to submit them to a bunch of comprehensive quality tests, like ensuring optimal fat content and flavor. Only if and when the patties have passed the test can they be cleared to be sent to a McDonald's location. This extreme commitment to quality is also accompanied by rigorous policies concerning the use of antibiotics and livestock, a back-to-basics approach sticking to the company's roots, and a commitment to sustainably sourced beef. And for us? Well, it just means that the burgers will be of the highest of quality every single time. Strict McD Standards because of standards and practices. Standards and practices? Obviously, you don't end up with one of the best burgers in the business without closely monitoring its production. Since the two main ingredients, the beef patties and buns, are not made on site in every location, McDonald's has to rely on vendors to produce the goods. But the thing is, they don't just pick random vendors, they also need to be heavily trusted to uphold the McDonald's burger expectations. With the production spread out far and wide, even beyond the United States, it can be pretty hard to keep track of who's suited and who's not, which is why there is a very long list of quality control standards every vendor has to adhere to in order to make sure their products stay consistent and delicious wherever they're sold. For example, each box of flash frozen beef patties is labeled with so many intricate details, you could trace back any burger to the cow it came from. Each patty will also pass through metal detectors before they're packaged to make sure no foreign objects have made their way into the meat. To reinforce that, loose items like jewelry and plastic pens are forbidden inside of the processing facilities. McDonald's has said that it always keeps its vendors accountable and that there are no second chances for vendors whose work isn't up to snuff. Made with specific cuts. I'll have you know I buy the finest cuts of beef. Again, there are so many myths surrounding the beef from McDonald's. Many people seem to believe that the burgers are actually made from entire cows simply put through a meat grinder, using everything along the way. Eyeballs, lips, brains, the whole nine. However, even though this sounds like a very graphic nightmare, rest assured, it's not how things go down at the processing plant. In fact, only the finest cuts of beef are carefully chosen to be part of the famous McDonald's burger patty and nothing less. This picking and choosing of beef is what gives them the recognizable, delicious taste we all love, and ensures their quality from one location to another. The specific cuts of beef include trimmings like chuck, round, and even sirloin, creating the perfect, familiar flavor profile. Tasty. The cows might not be grass-fed, but for the most part, they are fed on grass for the first half of their lives and then end up on a diet of grass, minerals, and grains. If you still need a little more convincing, many media outlets have covered a lot of behind-the-scenes looks into the U.S. processing plant, so go take a peek and learn the truth about why your burgers are always so tasty. Actual fresh beef? There's doubt. <laughs> Now that we've established that McDonald's does, in fact, serve real beef patties and that they are flash frozen to ensure freshness, let's talk about how one fan favorite burger is lucky enough to have actual fresh beef in it. That's right, if you order yourself any of the quarter pounders, the meat patty will be 100% fresh and not previously frozen. This is incredible. That decision was made by McDonald's in mid-2018, after the chain had been under fire multiple times for its beef freezing technique and made fun of by rival chain Wendy's. Wendy's ad campaigns were taunting the Golden Arches, notably with its 2016 parody website, with ads for freezy discs and an emoji-laden video accusing it of selling 0% fresh, never-frozen beef in 2018. Tired of being the butt of the joke and wanting to get rid of the negative perceptions people had about their burgers, McDonald's made the commitment to make all of their quarter pounders with fresh beef, which are cooked to order, by the way. The response was so positive and people got so excited, McDonald's sold over 40 million more quarter pounders than the previous year. Order up more great videos, just tap or click, and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.